YouTube. Today I'm going to discuss a topic related to the marriage of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him with uh, his adopted or former slave wife Zainab. I've been listening to many debates and the videos on the internet uh, and many of the Christian apologists uh, criticized that marriage and also claimed that Muhammad, peace be upon him, changed the Quran, the rules of the marriage um, after after the marriage. Uh, there are so many videos available on the internet which discuss that topic uh, according to the Islamic point of view, according to the time period of uh, Prophet Muhammad and explaining that Prophet Muhammad didn't actually change the rules of marriage in the Quran, but uh, it was explained by Allah in the Quran. Um, but I'm not going to discuss those topics the, in the Islamic point of view in my video. I'm going to put uh, some of the videos up, if I can find on the uh, on the YouTube in the description section. But uh, the purpose of this video is to see what kind of examples do we find in the Bible, actually. And so this is kind of a rebuttal video to all those Christian apologists who criticize Muhammad and peace be upon him. And uh, so we're going to see in the Bible what kind of examples do we find and compare it with the marriage of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And also the most important thing I'm going to do is to compare and see if the God of the Old Testament did actually change the rules of the marriage or not. So these are the two important things. First, we're going to see the examples and the second one is to see whether the rules of marriage as described in the Old Testament were changed or not. Or the exceptions being made to some specific persons or prophets. So here we go. Here's the, uh, the first example we have in the Bible uh, it, uh, is, uh, is about Prophet Abraham. You know, in the Bible, uh, Genesis 12, 20, uh, 10 to 20, explained that uh, uh, Abraham, Prophet Abraham, placed upon him a uh, reference to his uh, wife as his sister, uh, just fearing from from his beauty. Uh, that's why he referred his uh, his uh, his wife as his own sister. But when, when we move on to Genesis 20, uh, 12, Ibrahim explained that uh, she is not his sister, but his half-sister. But this is interesting because either way, I mean, it's a strange if you're living in today's world, marrying a half-sister is uh, called uh, incest. But, uh, but but that's what the Bible is explaining us. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to see what the Jewish rabbis say about this, uh, this issue. Um, so, through the Jewish rab rabbi lectures, uh, they, they deny the claim that, uh, that uh, Sarah was actually the sister of Ibrahim. But instead of sister, they say she was the niece of Ibrahim and was the daughter of his brother Haran and they explained that uh, in Genesis 11:29, a woman um, named Iska is actually the name of uh, the original name of Sarah and it was later changed so either way if you look into the rabbi lecture or the biblical lecture Ibrahim was married either to his half sister or married to his own niece so what about that? Uh, Christians, uh, apologists have objection uh, with Prophet Muhammad, even though, even though there there was no connection between uh, Prophet Muhammad and uh, his wife Zainab, but they have objection with that. So moving forward, what the next example? Next example is the son of Ibrahim, Isaac. Son of Ibrahim married to the, his grandniece Rabbika. How we know that? Genesis 22, 20 to 23 explained that he married to his uncle's 
uh, granddaughter, uh, his uncle Nahul, who was also uh, the brother of Ibrahim. If you look into today's standard, that's also called incest. Moving on, the next example I have is uh, Jacob. Now Jacob married uh, two sisters at the, at the same time, Rachel and Leah. Now in the, today's society, can we, two, can we marry two sisters at the same time? Isn't that called incest in today's society? But not only that, not only a Jacob's relationship uh, limited to the two sisters, he had sons with the concubines of each sister. So, in other words, he had relationship with the two sisters, he was married to the two sisters, and he was also uh, had children with the, with, the, with the concubines of two separate sisters. Now, how is the it's acceptable in today's society and we know in Bible uh, there is no condemnation of all these actions that I'm talking about there's no condemnation these are the people who were chosen one who were the chosen one okay there are examples of extreme extreme incest uh, examples which I haven't discussed this yet yet but uh, we're gonna discuss them later Moving on, uh, the next example we have is Reuben, who is the son of Jacob. He had a relationship with one of his father's wife maid, whom his father, Jacob, also had relationship. Now this is a pure form of incest that we can find in the Bible. Moving on, uh, uh, Judah, who is the son of Jacob, in Genesis 38, he mistakenly had sex with uh, his daughter-in-law, Tamar, and he uh, tried to justify this action as uh, uh, he thought that Tamar was, uh, is a prostitute. So in other words, was the sex with prostitute uh, um, acceptable in that society? That's why he tried to justify that. Not only that, from uh, Tamar, uh, he had two twin sons, Perez and Zira. And they were, uh, they were praised. In, in other words, uh, God said they're going to have, uh, uh, they're going to be leading uh, uh, the Israeli tribes. So they were praised in other sense in the Bible. Alright, moving on. Now before I move on to, to the next example, which is uh, going to be the most important example we can find in the Bible, I want to read one of the God's command, commandment in the Bible. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 3 now this is the commandment God uh, gives to Moses no child of, uh, of an incestuous union may be admitted into the community of the Lord nor any descendant of this of his even to the tenth, tenth generation Okay, so even the 10th uh, generation, I don't understand how can the 10th generation, 5th, 6th, 7th, 10th uh, generation uh, is responsible for the sin that is committed by their forefathers, but that's a different thing. They're not going to be admitted in the, uh, in the community of the Lord. Uh, but what's interesting about this uh, verse is, uh, the person whom the God gave this verse is in fact is in fact uh, a child of such union yes Moses father Imran married his uh, father's sister uh, her name is 